My name is Sharin Karim and my people knows me as Tukasha and um, I have a South Asian clothing business and I started this business like um, back in 2016. Um, well, then I have to go back a little bit. Um, Please, yeah, no. <laughs> tell us. Um, so I was always focused on my studies um, and we could barely get time like f um, for, you know, extra curriculum activities. Like I used to do swimming, biking, but um, after my MBA, um, I was waiting for my U.S. visa um, process to be completed. And um, during that time, I got bored. I wanted to do something productive. And um, I enrolled myself back in Bangladesh, 2009, okay. um, in fashion designing. It was a um, short six months diploma course. Um, but during that period of time, um, I have published my own design and I have done a couple of um, fashion shows. Um, to be honest, I enjoyed a lot. Yeah. Um, and then I moved to, after six months, I moved to US in New York. Um, oh, wow. And then, <laughs> and then um, I um, started my career in financial industries. But knowing that, that that was the end of my work in fashion. But um, now looking back, I was wrong. Um, I feel like, you know, that was just a beginning. <laughs> yeah. And then um, when you came here to New York, what, were you working with a company? Were you working on your own? Or what were you doing in New York? But when I was in New York, I started my career in the banking industry. So um, I worked like 10 years. Yeah. And um, uh, this comics car, actually, I created. Um, there was a reason. Um, so back in uh, 2016, when I got pregnant with my second child, yeah. I was on maternity, early maternity leave. And again, I got bored and uh, I wanted to do something productive. Yeah. And then um, my love for fashion and the experience I had previously actually made me to create Kami's car. And that time, actually, I realized that there's a huge gap in South Asian clothing. Um, Which is what you specialize in. Right. And it was like um, we hardly could buy um, South Asian uh, traditional outfit, um, uh, and or if we ordered online, it like it, it would take um, four weeks or one month to get, and it was pretty expensive. Oh my goodness! Yeah, and but I had a clear vision yeah. actually, um, which was like you know um, to offer high quality, um, uh, custom made, personalized outfit. And also affordable, affordability to a, each and everyone. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that made me actually to create um, this comic card. And in the beginning, it was very small, just online. Online means like just Facebook page. Yeah. And, um, but, you know, I started working very closely with my customers, um, you know, finding their needs, under, understanding their problems. And I ensured them to, like they they can, you know, uh, feel um, extraordinary. Yeah, absolutely. I saw some of your work. Talk to me about the collections that you have. I have um, like South Asian clothing means I have um, like Pakistani collections, the Indian collections, the Bangladeshi collections, and few of the collections are Nepali based. Means um, like lehenga, saris, um, anarkali gowns. Um, and now I started working on my own design, which Ooh. is Indo Western. Okay. So it means like people um, who are inspired by my collection. Um, people means like not only now I see like not only South Asian community, I see um, like uh, you know different background cultural uh, people are coming yeah. uh, because they got inspired by my um, outfit because it's the Indo Western means um, yeah. you know there's a Western touch too like a fusion right yeah so um, different background cultural people means like a Latina um, African American this one Middle back Eastern. here <laughs> she likes to wear her saris her boyfriend's Indian so oh yeah so she likes to put 
all that good stuff on. So this is perfect that you oh, offer wow. this for <laughs> other people because maybe some people feel shy and nervous. Like, can I wear this? Is it okay? I, I'm glad you brought this up because sorry, it's very hard to, you know, wrap it up. You know, because there's drapes and the pallu has to be on the left side. So there's like a lot of, you know, process. So now I came up with like a one minute wear sari, which is like everything is ready to wear. Wow. So it comes like... Ready, yeah, you just wrap it up and it looks like a sari you are wearing. Beautiful. The ease <laughs> of it all for people who don't know how to do it the, the proper way can help them. And I also saw that you cater to also not just women, but men. Talk to me about the men collection. Yes. Um. Well, when I started this, um, the small business, it wasn't a man man collection before. Mm-hmm. Um, like for a um, couple of years, just women collection. But now I see, like, when men doesn't do shopping, it doesn't matter. It's if it's a South Asian or Western, they don't love to shopping. It's like hardly we can find few men that they love to do shopping. Yeah. Maybe just online. But when their girlfriend comes, like maybe their wife, their mother, they look for like, you know, um, pairing up with their partner or their son. So that made me feel like, oh, I should bring men's collection too. And I have a husband, I have son, he's 13 years old. Yeah. And um, that, that actually, so like for two years, I have men collection in my um, store. Yeah. And um, men collection also, I have Indo Western too. So, you know, there's a jacket, um, there's a kurta, pajama. I saw some of the looks and I was just like, wow, this looks really nice. It looks very <laughs> chic and luxurious. I was just like, this is really nice. And it has like the nice shiny material or material, satin, I yeah. think. Yeah. Which brings me to my next question. Um, what type of materials do you like to use or like where do you source them from? And do you have a team behind you or is it just uh, you? Yes, um, I have a team. Um, I didn't have a team before. It was, you can say, like one man army. <laughs> um, but now I have one influencer. She uh, She's very good. And the team I have worked with, um, there's another IT guy um, who is, like recently, it was like uh, two or three months, I just started working with them. Um, but the team I have to do my own design, like I, I sketch my own design, I yeah. send it to them. And it, it's like um, they, you know, they do the stitching over there. Okay. And if something happened, I know the t- stitching thing. Like I can do some touch up. Yeah. And the material you mentioned, I, I mostly use the um, uh, the chinon silk. It says it's it's kind of the, the way you said like it. satin a little bit. Right. It's um, like glaze, and it's like a lifetime warranty. Beautiful. (laughs) Everybody loves a good lifetime warranty. (laughs) That's awesome. And now I saw that you got, um, you were honored listy. Uh, You got a badge from Marcus, who's who. Talk to me about that. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, It was like not too long ago, like a few months ago, um, I have, you know, LinkedIn account about Kami's car. And they reached out to me through LinkedIn, like, hey, um, would you like to apply? Um, because it it's only for women yeah. based um, uh, business you know, owners. Business owners. So um, I said okay, but I didn't have that much idea. So I was like, okay, let me give it a try. Yeah. I applied, and then I had a conversation with her over the phone. Um, it was like a one hour conversation, and yeah, she actually inspired me to have my biography on. Um, yeah. So yeah. So I was, I was, it was really honored because they are 125 years, um, you know, they've been doing this. Yeah. Um, so that's a long time. It's exciting. That's so cool. Congratulations <laughs> Thank again. Thank you. That is Thank awesome. You. And then, um, as far as marketing goes, what are you doing to get your name out there? Are you online? Are you going to, uh, network groups? Tell me everything. Is it word of mouth, a mix? Um, well, the marketing, um, I believe in social marketing and to me, social marketing, um, it's just like all about, you know, how you connect with people. Mm-hmm. So I connect with my people through the social platform, um, like um, through Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Um, I write, um, 
you know, I create content. Mm -hmm. um, and recently I started writing um, fashion um, uh, trends and tips blogs. Ooh. So my customer, you know, can use the Kami's Core platform not only as their you know, clothing store, also they can use it as a resourceful, um, you know, uh, platform. Yeah. So, and also... Um, I didn't mention anywhere. This is the first time I'm going to mention. Oh my it. gosh, I... we get the exclusive. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so I recently um, launched a course, which is called, um, you know, how you can start your own business with even $100. Wow. This course actually is for those women um, who wants to do something by their own and um, or maybe a mom, a staying at home, yeah. those moms. Or those women like wants to do something as a side hustle because I started as a side hustle, yeah. this business. Um, so this course will inspire them or, you know, show them the path like, you know, from where or how they can start their own business and follow their dream. Yeah, I love that. Where can people find more information? Will it be on your website or where? It will be published in my website. I didn't link it yet, but okay. I will. But it's coming. It's coming because, uh, you know, before, um, you know, uh, publish it in publicly um i would like to have the presentation on my own like what this course is about yeah so you know so can people understand oh okay if i take the course i will learn this and that yes i love it no that's so great i love that you were just like you know what I want to help other women too and I want to help the community yes. and they don't know where to start they can use me as they a resource can, yes that's beautiful I love that <laughs> thank you yeah and then where do you see yourself in the next five years with your business and with yourself as a person well um it's it's hard to say because sometimes I get you know um fight with myself like where's the end um yeah. because like I'm just going with uh, with the flow growing with the yeah. flow so in next five years um i, I want to uh, keep growing my business as a brand and um i would love to see you know not only south asian communities uh coming together i, w I would love to see like other cultural communities are coming together to yeah. my fashion to my work yeah <laughs> And um, yes, and also like, you know, I would like to inspire the other women, um, uh, you know, to start something by their own. Yeah. Uh, so they can, you know, do um, something like as they will wish um, yeah. always. <laughs> Absolutely. And now I do have a question. It is a little bit controversial. You're like, oh, no. <laughs> but like, I know there's been things where it's like, oh, that's cultural appropriation like you're not Indian you don't know the meaning behind this or like this is a sacred um you know outfit what are your thoughts on that do you think because I feel like you're like yeah you want to branch out culturally but maybe some people don't wear it and they don't maybe know the meaning of it what are your thoughts on that like I am Bangladeshi. Um, like I born in Bangladesh. Yeah. So. Um, but for other cultures, you know. For the other cultures, yes. So you know, this is. Uh, I'm. I'm glad. Thank you for bringing up that topic. I had that concept in my mind somewhere. Like, um, you know, this is for only this Indian people. This is for only this Bangladeshi people. Bangladeshi people, we love to wear sari, and Indian, uh, they love to wear. Um, you know, lahenga, Pakistani, they love to wear kameez, salwar kameez, uh, gharara. So, um, so I was like, okay. So I was only focused on those South Asian communities. Mm -hmm. So when I moved to Virginia, from New York to Virginia, like I moved like 2019. Yeah. Um, I saw a lot of changes. And, and the changes I noticed is like in one year. Um, what changes is like, um, as I mentioned earlier, like, um, I saw other people are also, uh, other cultural people are also inspired by my collection. Yeah. So I had one, uh, not one, I had few customers, um, mostly Latinas. They wow. Latinas. Your they biggest are... clientele. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking back there. <laughs> I love it. Um, they are inspired by my collection, like yeah. especially ready to wear sari. Okay. Because my ready-to-wear saris are very, um, you know, rich fabric, 
they will wrap up in a body and you don't feel it like you were something. Yeah, it's you comfortable. You feel uncomfortable. You can wear it, you can carry that all day long. And the second, um, the customer I noticed is African American. Yeah. Um, if you if you go to my Instagram page, yeah. my official Instagram page, you will see their pictures. Like even they worry, they shared their pictures with me and then referred other Latina customers. Yeah. And I have also like African American male customer, <laughs> Latina, um, you know, the male customer. You want to believe? That's and, incredible. And yeah, now I'm focusing on their taste yeah. too. Like. Now I feel like, you know, this is not only my designs are not only meant to be for Indian, Bangladeshi or South Asian community. Yes. It's like, it's growing. Yeah. It's expanding. I love that. No, I love that. It's like a fusion and your take, a different take on like the modern women, <laughs> woman who wants to like wear this, right? Yes. So I think that's cool. Yeah. Um, and then my question right now is, what do you see as the trends right now? I guess for fall, winter, what are the colors, the textures? What's going on right now? Velvet. Oh, yeah, nice. So right now, it's the color is like dark, of course. Um, it's the same, like a brown, uh, black, gray. Um, and um, the velvet material, it's right now it's going on. And it will be till February, end of February. Sometimes it goes, you know, depend on our, Dep yeah. on our weather. Yes. Um, we have velvet uh, shawl velvet uh, silver suit velvet sari so right now it's a uh, very demanding yeah. velvet all right and it's very um high rich material yeah very high quality yeah i saw some of your stuff and your stuff looks really <laughs> good it looks like top notch like whoa thank you <laughs> yeah and then um what do you hope the experience will be for your customers when they wear your clothes and when they go on your shop or they get to know you what do you hope to give them as an experience to my customer? Yeah, yeah. When they come to my shop, um, you know, you know, uh, they, they, I had, this is what I was tell, wanted to tell you. I had one customer last week and she came to me. And she's like, oh, you texted me, it's a boutique. But when the, she came to my store, she's it's a clothing store and it's huge. You have a huge collection. <laughs> Boutique. <It's laughs> that's cute. I love it. So I was like, oh, okay, that's a you know a compliment. It's a big compliment. And then she goes like, can I take this picture? Can I take this picture? She was wearing outfit. She was outfit. excited. Oh yes. <laughs> I love yeah. it. So you um, want people to just have like a great experience and have yes. that shopping experience where they can touch the material, touch, fit it. Yes. And I have a trial room inside my store so, you know, they can try it on before they buy. So two days ago, I, I wasn't home. My mother came to visit me and she was there. And, uh, and the customer was almost leaving. I yeah. said, you know what? My mother is home. Is it okay if she can help you? Uh, she's like, okay, because she uh, she was um you know um european american she doesn't speak bangla she doesn't speak um hindi or anything and my mother doesn't speak english so that was a surprise i told her like my mother doesn't speak english yeah. but she understand she said like, that's okay she went to the store my mo mom helped her and she was like i want to buy three or four outfits of it but she said, "I'm, I'm, go I'm coming. Def I'm coming back definitely." But she got two outfits. She, she okay. wanted to buy one because it was like um, she was going to attend um Indian wedding. Okay. And she w wanted to have outfit. Yeah. So she got two. But she's like, you know what? I can wear because I have a, uh, the casual kurta, which is also um Indo Western. Like you can wear it outside in the summertime too. Yeah. So maybe th for those she she wanted to Perfect. buy yeah yeah i love it and what do you like to do in your free time when you're not wrapped around fashion and clothes what do you like to do to study yeah study oh what do you study um well i love to um you know i believe like um to go with the flow you need to educate yourself all the time um so i took um e-commerce analyst um um uh, certification course Recently, um, I enrolled myself with a 
again fashion designing certification course i I'm, 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 I'm done um it was from person school in new york nice um so yeah and also i got a certification course in hr because my masters was in hr and so yeah i love to study yeah. like it doesn't matter if it's related to the fashion or colors or patterns I need to know. Yeah. <laughs> That's just your curious mind. That's what you love. You want to know, you want to learn and yeah. know for your for your business, right? So that's <laughs> awesome. I love that. Is there anything maybe that I have not touched on that you would like to share about yourself, your business, your industry? Um No, it's just like uh, sometimes people ask me, how's the sale? Um no, I couldn't answer them. Like, I'm not self-oriented because my vision was different. You know, um, to me, actually, um, the successful business is, I mean, is not about sales. Um, I believe a successful business is all about how, um, you know, uh, the meaningful way you can show your creativity um, to your people by influencing them. Um, through your work yeah so that's what I believe when my customer comes to me and they appreciate me sometimes some customer like in front of me was giving me a lot of prayers um, in in their own way like there were some of them were elderly people or maybe yeah. they were teenagers so like oh, we were so glad that you were here um, so you know those are the great achievement for me and then this um, this feedback actually kept my uh, vision same in the same way. Yeah, um, I couldn't change my. Even some customer tell me, "Oh, you have, uh, um, you always offer cheaper price than others." Yeah, um, and it's growing, but I cannot increase my price because same same uh, you know uh, motive I have. It's not all about sales. Yeah, it, it, it's it, this is the. Uh, you know, the attachment I can feel with them. Yes, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And I think that's a unique quality because nowadays sometimes it's really hard, you know, and people it's, are like, we got to up the prices here and here and here. <laughs> so I like that you're staying true to that and I think it will come back to you in a good way. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. And then for my final question that I like to ask everybody is, do you have a quote or a saying or even a mantra that has inspired you in your life? And would you like to share that with our listeners to leave us with a a great message um or maybe something your mom told you or your dad that sticks in your head and you're like yeah <laughs> uh, well this is all i want to you know tell everyone um because um from my experience what i had is i did not have privilege um to uh invest a large amount to start my startup business mm -hmm. i started very low amount um all i had is all i believed from that um experience yeah. is like you need to have proper uh, dedication um clear vision yes and most importantly um the proper knowledge of education that what you are going to start and why yeah so if you believe those and you be consistent you can reach you can reach there i love that <laughs> well thank you so much for being on the podcast and for sharing your story and all the insight on your beautiful boutique or large shopping store <laughs> thank you for having me absolutely